Hi folks, welcome to our getting started tutorial for Ventus. The things we are going to talk about today is the basic things like how to make a new project, what are the project settings and I'll go with you through some of the options. The first thing you're going to see if you start your license is this screen. You see um, your recent projects over here and the tutorials and demos over here. The checkbox down here can be set true or untrue. If it's set true, you'll see this dialog, which means the Ventus version will check our server if there's new content available you haven't downloaded yet. This is shown by the green downward arrow here, which means you can just download them. To get back, just click the button over here, change project. And now we want to do a new project. We double click the new project icon, set a project name like tutorial in this case. Uh, we can add a description, but we don't need to. We set a project category. I always leave this default usually. Uh, you can set a project icon. There's some presets. You can also add your own icons and we set the render aspect ratio. I use 16 to 9 because that's the monitor I'm working on and finish. As I said, you can still change these properties. Just go over here, click project properties and you'll see most of the things you just decided here. As well, you're going to see your render resolution here, uh, which is 720p. I'm going to turn it to full HD. Um, yeah, layout scenes, we're going deeper to that later as well. Yeah, and the rest is not so important at the moment. Now, if I'm going to the folder where I placed my project, I'm going to see the whole project structure, which is always the same for each project in Ventus. Um, each of these folders will have all the assets I need, but you'll find everything here. Your movies, textures, images, these are the most uh, important folders, but also your scripts and all that. So if you need to delete stuff um, or add something which wasn't added automatically, you can do this in here. Another interesting dialog is the options menu under tools. You can change the autosave options here or even turn them off if you want. And for example, you can change the way the toolbox responds. So there's the fast toolbox. I can show it to you uh, right now. It's on alphabetical. So if I'm in the scene and I press space, I can type whatever node I want here, like mover, and I can drag it out and that's it. Or cube like this. Um, another way to do this is categorize view. For example, if I say geometry, it's G, and then I can take my rectangle or whatever here. I'd recommend as a beginner, start with the toolbox down here. So here's everything. You can search for it and get comfortable. Of course, we got a help system inside Ventus. You'll find it under help or by pressing F1. If you, for example, search for shortcuts, you'll get the list of all the shortcuts we use in Ventus. Another thing is, Click on How To's. The How To's section provides you with a lot of information about basic um, effects like a mirror reflection. Also, there's a lot of interesting information about advanced topics like importing geometry or the animation state engine. It might be a lot of text, but it's really re rewarding to read it. Also, always remember, first read the help, then post in the forum. If you need more detailed information about a single node, just click on the node, press F1 and choose Interactive Example. Ventus will open a new scene inside your project with a short tutorial on that node. If you've finished reading, you can just close it. So much about the very first steps in Ventus. In the next tutorial, we're going to talk about the workspace.